now give unto you the first token of the Melchizedek priesthood, or sign of the nail, with its accompanying name and sign. This token is received by bringing the right hand into this position, the hand vertical, the fingers close together, and the thumb extended. And the person giving the token, placing the tip of the forefinger of his right hand in the center of the palm, and the thumb opposite on the back of the hand of the one receiving it, in this manner. We desire all to receive it. All arise. If any of you have not received this token, you will please raise your hand. The name of this token is the Son, meaning the Son of God. The sign is made by bringing the left hand in front of you with the hand in cupping shape, the left arm forming a square. The right hand is also brought forward, the palm down, the fingers close together, with the thumb extended. This is the sign. I will now explain the covenant and obligation which are associated with this token, its name and sign, and which you will be required to take upon yourselves. If I were receiving the endowment today, either for myself or for the dead, I would repeat in my mind these words after making the sign. I solemnly covenant before God, angels, and these witnesses in the name of the Son, that I will never reveal the first token of the Melchizedek priesthood or sign of the nail with its accompanying name and sign. Each of you make the sign of the first token of the Melchizedek priesthood or sign of the nail by bringing the left hand in front of you with the hand in cupping shape, the left arm forming a square. The right hand is also brought forward, the palm down, the fingers close together, with the thumb extended. This is the sign. Now repeat in your mind after me the words of the covenant. I solemnly covenant before God, angels, and these witnesses in the name of the Son that I will never reveal the first token of the Melchizedek priesthood or sign of the nail with its accompanying name and sign. That will do. We will return and report.